Donkey Kong, the first antagonist of our favorite Plimmer Mario. He's gaming's most popular gorilla and probably the coolest gorilla ever. I mean look, he wears a tie. He may not have other clothes, but that's pretty fancy for Simeon. Donkey Kong has many games and is a fan favorite of many people, and not to mention he's in some of the best games to exist. So to begin this top 10 countdown, I'm going to note that the Super Smash Bros. series was considered in this countdown, but denied because I want to focus on the Kong family. And though I love Smash, it didn't feel right to include it in here. So here we go. Number 10, Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis. This is the second game in the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, and it's a puzzle game where the player controls mechanical Marios to get to the stage exit, and then fight Donkey Kong at the end of the world in a boss battle. So I guess the mechanical Marios are made out of metal? Shouldn't it be renamed Metal Marios vs. Donkey Kong? I dunno. You choose. Your decision. Number 9. Okay, this is freaking awesome. What do you get when you combine pod racing from Star Wars and Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong Barrel Blast, baby. Boom! In this game for the Wii, you can choose from many characters from the Donkey Kong series and race against each other. Barrels are attached to everyone that just propels them like a jetpack. And there are many levels that take place on the beach, in the jungle, in a volcano, and in your mom's house! Oh, snap! Just kidding. No, but this game is fun. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Number 8, Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. This game is a refresher and reminder of how much the past has evolved. This game has some new ways to play the game, such as there being a health bar with hearts, and also you can team up and ride on each other's shoulders. And Diddy Kong uses his jetpack as a save for Donkey Kong. That's pretty awesome. Also, the soundtrack is back, and now we can relive those old school moments of the original Super Nintendo games with a new mindset and gameplay. It's so wonderful, I almost feel like I'm back in the 90s. Just imagine, someday, logging out to the internet with no crazy robot sex sounds. Man, I bet the 2000s are gonna be great. Well, can't put some Pokemon. Number 7, Donkey Kong. You've heard the phrase, it's on like Donkey Kong. Well, where do you think it came from? This game, of course. It's the first game to star Mario and Donkey Kong together. And some people think that this is Princess Peach, but it's actually Pauline. And the goal of the game is, well, get to the top. It's simple, but really fun and probably one of the best arcade, arcade games out there. Thank you, Nintendo, for this wonderful masterpiece. Oh, there's also a pie level. <laughs> Number six, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Wait, did, didn't I do this one? Oh yeah, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Tropical Freeze. This one's even better than the last one. There's more music from the past, cooler levels, and also you can play as Dixie Kong and Cranky Kong, AKA the original Donkey Kong. That's sweeter than having, having a cape full of bananas that you won't share with anyone. Looking at you, Donkey Kong, you fat mother Number 5, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. This game is unique in its own way to play because you can not only use a GameCube controller, but bongos. That's right, bongo controllers. You tap on the right to make Donkey Kong run light, left to make him go left, and both to jump. This game is a platformer and there are bosses at the end of each world that you can beat the crap out of. No other Donkey Kong game lets you do that. One more thing. One of the other moves that Donkey Kong has is, well, if you clap above the bongos, Donkey Kong claps and makes a sound wave noise that hurts enemies. So if he attacks with this, he'll technically be given enemies the clap. <laughs> Number 4, Diddy Kong Racing. Okay, before any of you get on me about, oh, but, but, but Donkey Kong isn't in this game, well, the game has a word Kong in it, so I'm going with it. This game is filled with power-ups, has a unique backstory, bosses to race against, such as the Triceratops and Giant Octopus, and it's just as much fun to play with it with friends. Number 3, the original Donkey Kong Country. This is the first game where we meet Diddy Kong and Cranky Kong. It's a platformer and there are lots of secrets, levels, and music that make this one of the best games ever. The backstory is that Donkey Kong has had his banana stolen, then he goes and beats the crap out of King K. Roll to get them back. So basically this is just an episode of Hoarders before the show even existed. 
So the moral of the game is, if someone is a hoarder, don't just take their stuff, talk to them about it. Make sure they want to change. This game is one of my personal favorites, but just because it is, I still don't think it deserves spot number one. After Banjo-Kazooie and Mario 64 were released, we weren't sure when we see another platformer. But then, Donkey Kong 64 came out. This game is the biggest Donkey Kong game that exists. There are a lot of levels, secrets, bananas, objectives to accomplish, and even some new characters, including some bosses and allies. This is the first game where Lanky, Tiny, and Chunky Kong made their appearances, and we instantly fell in love with them. Also in this game, all the characters gain new powers and items such as Donkey Kong's coconut gun, Diddy Kong's jetpack, Chunky's super strength, Tiny turning well, Tiny, and Lanky Kong's stretchy powers. He's like Monkey D. Luffy, gonna be king of the bananas, or something. If you have never played this game before, I suggest you do it now. It's on the virtual shop on the Wii U. Go ahead, go, go, go buy it. It's worth it. I promise. Oh my gosh, what is it? Number one, it's Donkey Kong Country 2. You're probably wondering why not any of the other Donkey Kong games that are newer, or even on the Donkey or even Donkey Kong 64, which is bigger and has more levels. I chose this game because it has many secrets for a Super Nintendo game. It's more challenging, and the bosses and characters and level design graphics, even the character graphics, have all been updated. It really wants a player to collect everything and play through all the levels and attain all the secrets. No other game pushes you like that. Oh yeah, we also got the Bramble soundtrack. Probably the best Donkey Kong soundtrack, but one of the best video game soundtracks ever. Also, the game's developer made this so if you collect enough Donkey Kong coins, you can be better than Mario. That'll fix his plumbing. Get it? Because he's a plumber. <laughs> I'll let myself out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this countdown. If you want to stay updated, then feel free to subscribe so you can watch more fun videos. Also, what's your favorite Donkey Kong game? Comment below and leave a like. And I'll see you on the next Jerdaton episode. See you later.